Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. Now it's been a week since I played this, but I grinded off screen until I got the electric bony knife, and then I went and used it. And then uh, started recording for a couple of minutes and noticed that I was missing audio. So I didn't have audio, so that was just an honest fuck up on my part. But to reiterate what I said, um, I'm waiting on my wife to come back from work, so if there's another break in the recording or some noise in the background, that's what it is. I'm at a new desk, so if you hear some bumping, it's my microphone hitting the wall, or just some miscellany. But my microphone stand now actually connects to the desk instead of a plank of wood that lays on top of my desk with some weights on it. So yeah. So I'm just going to double check to make sure that my sound is okay, because I don't know why it fucked up to begin with, and I'll get right back into it. Alright, it seems to be okay. I'll try and sit a little closer to the microphone just in case and we'll get into it. The door to the next set of stairs is blocked by a big antique mirror. Swirling mist dance on its surface and dancing mist swirl in its depths. Do you dare to gaze into it? What will it show you? The darkness and the naughty sorceress's soul? Your heart's desire? You, only with a little alligator on your lapel facing the other direction? This is also the mirror. The, to the mirror in the tower is the view that is true. So let's gaze into the mirror. Gaze in the mirror and see, oh, that's disappointing, it's a reflection. But wait, a confident smile crosses his lips, one you're certain is not your own. You're pretty nervous, to be honest. He gives you a thumbs up, as if to say, you can do it, buddy. And you know what, he's right, you can do it. And furthermore, you're going to do it. You acquire an intrinsic confidence. Wow, you've given yourself a silent pep talk and you feel ready to take on the world. Well, before I do anything else, I'd actually want to say I joined a clan. I'm part of the Seal Clubber's Orders. So now I have access to this. I can pull some meat off this tree. Oh, wow. Stuffed Astral Badger. It's an offhand item, and it's a gift. Cool. Uh, I can I can sleep here. There's a couple of things that give me extra adventures, so I can grind a little quicker. And then there's a pit with a thousand balls in it. And I gain the effect having a ball, which doubles my stats. And then this adds 20% to my stats. So I'm pretty dummy strong. <gasps> Oh, shit. You're fighting a shadow seal clubber. The sorceress's evil and vaguely sexy voice echoes off the walls around you. So you like to play with mirrors, do you? Have a little fire, scarecrow. And yes, the sexy sorceress is my voice. My voice is sexy, right? I've got that confidence intrinsic. Fuck yeah. What? You shot to the air, unable to locate the sorceress's voice? I mean, you like to play with mirrors, do you? Well, reflect on this for a while. And all of a sudden... You find yourself face to face with what appears to be yourself, only opposite. And you can see that it's just a blacked out version of this. Let's hit him. Wow, he fucked me up. Every move you make, the shadow's got a hand up just in time. It's possible to hit your own shadow. Laughs you in an eerie parody of your own voice. Hides on the floor at your feet, making you think it's your regular shadow. Then it kicks you. You lose a shitload of hit points. Shadow damage. Well, let's uh, heal myself. Glorp. You gain a bunch of health. Your shadow writhes in agony. Cool. I hope I'll be able to survive. Ow. Maybe you should consider using some healing items or spells or something. Thanks, Frank. Shit. Damn it. Venture getting his or her ass kicked slash handed to him is pretty uh, spot on. Well, let's hibernate. What do I have to heal me? Because I know that healing myself is the way to get a stop to this. 100 to 120 hit points, soy milk. That's just MP. Do I have any skills that I can use in battle? Tongue of the walrus. I can lick myself. I don't know if that'll work. Let's blubber up. To give me more dodge. Uh, Yeah, more weapon damage is fine. More muscle for more health is good. Tongue myself. Hmm. 
I wonder if I can buy a thingy. Hmm. Well, bad sign. So I uh, finally connected with all the online shit. So now I can actually uh, go places and do things. Generic healing potion. Restores HP based on your level. <laughs> 5e and Skyrim. Nice. All right. 4.5 times level. Okay. Sixty-seven. That's not great. This thing doesn't apparently doesn't heal me. Oh, nice. Wow. Hello. Scroll of drastic healing. Yeah, I was planning on using this, but as it happens, I don't actually need it. Let's go back in. Just why not, right? Tower level five. Hides of the floor. Uh, we already read this one. Okay. New age healing crystal. Oh. Well. Uh, I drink it. Does a bit of shadow dancing. By dancing, I mean kicking your calf. Let's drink it. Oh, boy. This isn't uh This might not work. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can stun him. Well. Oh, wait. Hibernate. And then let's go back to the mall. Let's just get a shitload of these. Hmm. These are all much more expensive. But these don't have a limit, so that's good. How much does it work for? Oh, it's all my HP. Interesting. Oops. Scroll of drastic healing. Wait, maybe I should just shadow, shadow class. Okay, okay. I'll be honest, I kinda can't wait to fucking play West of Loathing, but it's gonna be in another year at least. Every movie make. Direct healing items. Cause garters. Multiple newer heals won't work. Okay, well. Let's try again with our new shit. All right. Uh, scroll. What? Huh. Hey everyone, I would just like to warn you that I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm really stupid. Okay, well, let's go back to the mall. At least I didn't get beaten up. Let's go back to the mall and let's look for red pixel potions. Oh, brother. Some people might say that this is cheating. I would argue that it's in the game by default, and so it's not cheating. Can't be cheating. Let's try a gauze. Gauze garter. 500 me to go? Jesus. Okay. Huh. Huh. Well. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's get four of these, I guess. Let's buy one from this guy just to buy him out because I like the idea of that. And let's buy three of these. Buy one more just to make sure. All right. Now, hopefully, this will work. What did I just buy? Gauze Garter. Your shadow writhes in agony. He writhes in agony some more. Oh, God. See, he's hitting me a lot more. You, grab, you wrap the garter around one of your wounded limbs. You feel better with sexy results. Yeah, I did it. Shadow version of, your spells of yourself explodes in a variable volcano of fate force and arbitrary alliteration. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that's hibernate. Why not? Back to the tower. All right, let's go in here and just... There she is, everyone. You're fighting the naughty sorceress. You bust into the final room of the naughty sorceress's lair. There, sitting on a huge black throne, on a huge black dais, is the sorceress herself. Nothing could have prepared you for how evilly seductive and seductively evil she is. Even though she appears to have bought a wardrobe from a warm subject. <sighs> warm sub... Hot topic. Ha ha ha. Boo. Leather black corset, black leather dress, black leather crown, and a long black not leather hair. She's a vision of pure malevolent naughtiness. Congratulations, adventurer. You finally made it to me. Now you can know the truth. The truth? I can't handle the truth. You're the cause of all this. The monsters, the quest, bad puns. You did it all. You're so, so naughty. I may be bad, but I feel good. Now are you sure you really want to fight me? Do you really want to hurt me, Dusky Alfred? I am your mother. No, it's not true. It's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. This is confusing now that she has my voice and we're talking to each other. <laughs> No, it's not possible, you say, raising your arms to the sky. Sorceress cackles. Well, that was over the top. Not your mother, stupid. I can tell you that all your fighting power comes from some lame microorganisms in your bloodstream, you'd believe it. Come over here on the dais and I'll rock you like a hurricane. On the dais, on the dais? Rock me on the dais. God damn it. That's it. Call me the bus driver because I'm taking you to school. She points, a, uh, points at me in a very... Beam of very sticky light bursts out of her finger. It strikes you and you feel very, very normal. She points at Chadwick and mutters a curse. Chadwick whimpers. She tries to rend the fabric of reality, but only succeeds in ripping her dress. All right. I do a meager, meager amount of damage. She tries to cut off your hand, but you grab a handy rope and swing out of the way. Sorceress points at you and a beam of blue light shoots out of her middle finger. Thanks for the pick-me-up, you say. She says as you feel energy drained from your body. Let's hit her. You win the fight, and you gain one fortitude. Gah, she cries seriously. Sources falls to her knees as the blow lands. Cloud of black mist gathers around her. She rises on the floor. Uh-oh. So I've never actually gotten this far. I know that there's, like, apparently some twist in how this quest operates, but I don't know what it is. No. Oh. Okay. You're fighting the naughty sorceress. Two. The mist obscures her completely before parting to reveal a hideous apparition. It's got more fangs and tentacles than an anime convention. Behold my true form, adventurer, and behold it well, for it's the last thing you'll ever behold. Hold on a minute. I'm not beholden to behold anything, you ugly creature. You found me beautiful once, she says. Honey, you got real ugly. <laughs> Let, let's go. <laughs> she attaches several tentacles to you, but doesn't even leave a hickey. Sucker. Or, you know, not. Boo. Uh, I bonked the hell out of her. It's almost too nasty to describe, but the creature moves towards you and embraces you with a fair pair of filthy tentacles. Draws a pulsating, drooling, fang-ridden mouth close to yours and gives you what is possibly the second worst kiss of your life. You immerse in the embrace, feeling drained. And that's hot. Also, that's a joke that I love. I love whenever something completely implausible happens and you're like, that's the second weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, it's just a very, very basic or common element of like humor but like i love it so much just like when would you ever have seen the how is this the second <laughs> i hit her she attaches several tentacles to you and sprains several of your sensitive ligaments you need some ligament liniment you lose 20 hit points hit her with a big bonk all right 
Sorcerer's Sword in her hideous true form falls to her hideous knee analogs as the final blow lands. This cannot be. This is not possible. It cannot be that this is the case. Masaka. Makana. Impossible. But it doesn't matter, adventure. By selling me my true form, you've given me the power to assume my actual true form, which I'm about to do right now. Uh, seriously, uh-oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Dang it, how many times do I have to kill you? This battle's taken over half an hour, but there's no save point. Haha, <laughs> you'll never defeat me. So just cackles. There's a muffled pop and a slightly greasy smell as the apparition vanishes and is replaced by a nasty-looking floating sausage. <laughs> The sausage throws bone fragments at you. You're not sure why it holds them in capital letters, but it does. You look frantically around for a way to rearrange the situation, but your weapon proves ineffectual at stopping the barrage of razor sharp pieces of bones. You get sliced, dice, and julienne fried before you fall out of the tower. Tea over ass kettle. Uh, ass over tea kettle. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. You lose 550,089 hit points. You lose... You wake up in a heap at the base of the tower. Also, it's giving me four turns of beating up, which usually I only get three. Dang, Chief, that was rough, says Frank. Yeah, tell me about it, you reply between bouts of coughing up blood. That solvent stuff was doing... Did it seem weird to you? You're asking me if I noticed anything weird while I was getting my ass handed to me by a magical floating sausage that a woman that used to be a woman and then was briefly a big tentacle monster because, no, that's a normal day for me. Why? Did, did you notice anything weird? It's it's just that it was in all caps. A what? Maybe maybe you didn't see it the way I did, but I got a feeling I know somebody, a former somebody at least, who could help us with this. A guy named Nagamar. Ramagan? Is that name backwards? I don't know if that means anything. He was a wizard back in my day, and he had his wand that did weird stuff with woods. Said he wanted to be buried with it, and I'll bet you anything that's what happened. We should head to the cemetery and check. You mean the cemetery? No, it's spelled with a... Huh. Yeah, it definitely sounds like Nagamar's there. So our next step is grave robbery. Don't act like you're so above it, boss. I'm certainly not above grave robbery. They don't need it. Pick up the rest of your teeth and head towards the misspelled cemetery. Um, actually, I'm going to cut this episode here. I've been doing pretty good. Um, but we're going to beat Kingdom of Loathing in this session. I think. Mostly because I'm pretty sure it'll be very easy because I have quite a few adventures left and we got a lot <laughs> we we got a lot to do. So see you guys in the next episode. It won't be next week. I don't know if it already started happening, but I've started uploading things more than once a week just to get to the end. So Merry Christmas everyone. Mm -hmm.